<clears throat> Today's day is September 12th, 1921. Client's name is Mr. Collier uh, Zizunov, is that right? The present are Mr. Lorne Adler and... And Samuel Basler. Case number 493. So, our boss tells us you had a, for us, fairly unorthodox request. Ironic, you being an orthodox priest. Were. Were? I have not preached for years. Huh, and why is that? Issues arose. I could not conduct my business back home. I had the will to move here till the time is right to return. And there aren't that many orthodox Christians around Knightsbridge. I have another mission now. I suppose your work still concerns the faith, judging by what you ask us to acquire. And knowing this helps how? Well, you see, knowing the client helps with estimated expectations. To tell whether the job's going to be difficult or not. Easier to determine the fee. Let me worry about the money. And you do your end. All right. Could you provide some kind of intel, off of which we can start the investigation? My sources mention St. Petersburg. Petrograd has connected to the key I want you to find. It has been found in the circle in the market, I suppose. Sort of. Why else would you be here? An archaeologist tends not to excavate people's pockets. <laughs> Most funding agencies would say otherwise. <coughs> <coughs> I suppose it is within someone's possession, then. Would you like to tell us who? This is why I'm hiring you. I lack the investigative skills to identify him. You sure it's a man? I'll share documentation of the relic's history. They mention the man of Peter as the possessor. Awfully vague. I know. Frustrating, isn't it? Okay. Hand in the documentation you have. I'll go through it for further understanding of the subject. I thought the request might appear. Don't mind if I ask, but how come you're hiring us and have some local talent from Russia? You didn't mention St. Petersburg as a relevant place, after all. I feel you might be more reliable. Less ulterior motives. Just don't let the hiring be surprise you. As I say, you need not worry. I'll arrange for living and expenses, and at more than adequate living standards. Well, that's something you'd have to bring up with our boss. Normally, we arrange those things. Yeah, in order to set up in a work efficient way. I assure you it shouldn't become an issue. Any enemies of yours we should know about? The Orthodox faith has gained plenty during the Civil War, and it's still growing. This is why I left. And us walking around asking questions of this subject matter won't cause issues. Mind your tongue around Lenin sympathizers. Other than that, no. No larger issues. Well, thank you for stepping in. We'll review your files and determine if we can take on your case or not. I have faith in your capability. Well, contact you in a few days. You know how to find me. Hey, um, Samuel. Yes, what is it? I think there's a reason for not telling us the purpose of the key. Probably because it's worth a whole lot of more than he pays us. Uh, I feel there's more to this than he lets on. Probably a fair amount of competitors. Well, I'm sure the boss won't miss that detail. He did seem to notice some potential in this case. Initial client interview conducted. Obtained a folder from the client containing around seven different documentations seem to be excerpts from grounded texts translated document review and penning update when fit Lorne Adler and and Samuel Master out <laughs>